Yo, what is it, YouTube? It's your boy Aris here, back with Prescription Kicks, man. Back again with the daily sneaker news, streetwear news, and everything else in between. Before we get into the video, I just want to say, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, that like button, go ahead and comment, all of that, you know what I mean? I'm running a 1,000 subscriber giveaway for a free pair of Jordan 1 Royal Toes. You don't want to miss out. All you have to do is click that link in the description below. You just got to comment your size, like the video and make sure you're a subscriber. That's how you're going to make sure you're eligible to get your entry in. I already have hundreds and hundreds of entries in, but I'm about to hit 1,000 subscribers. So if you're new to the channel, you know, might as well test your luck and have a chance. It's a one in 1,000 chance of odds. You know, if you're waking up early and going for these sneaker drops, like against a million other people globally, then why not try this? You know, why not try to look at this? You have one in 1,000 odds of winning this Jordan 1 Royal Toso. Today I got a quick little video for you guys. I just recently went on a trip to the Nike outlet store and I swear I hit the Nike outlet jackpot guys. I got a bunch of retros for way, way, way below retail. A lot of recent releases and stuff and I'm about to dig in and show you this quick little haul. I'm just pretty much detailing what I got and how much I got them for. I couldn't get any in-store footage at the time because they were bringing these boxes out fast. I went during prime time hours, like I'm talking like 1 to 2 p.m., you know, right after lunch. And the store was just packed out, a lot of people, and I just didn't want to take any chance of pulling out my phone and recording all this. They were just literally bringing them out from, out from the back. I took them all, man, before anybody could realize what, what exactly they were bringing. This dude from the back looked like the manager or whatnot, and he's carrying a bunch of boxes out. I was just waiting around, waiting for to bring more, because they were just dumping them in the middle section, so like, I was talking to my homie and the Nike alley is, you know how they separate it from the, the women's shoes, men's shoes, and then there's usually like a little walkway down the middle filled with running shoes and whatnot. I was just standing around there, you know, talking to my homie and just thankfully they just, they were just bringing them from the back, just dumping them right there guys. So um, I asked in front, like when I was checking them out, I was like, is, the, is it like always around this time that you guys bring out like returns and stuff? They just basically said like, nah, like, it's all at random, it's whenever they decide to, when the stock, like the inventory in the back gets really jumbled up and crowded, like they'll just start bringing them out into the middle of the floor, I guess, and just dropping them off there. And it's just first come, first serve from there, like whoever's lucky to find them. I just happened to be right there, you know, I got so lucky. But I can tell, you know what I mean? Like if a box is like this, comes out like this, has a little white cement type thing, like it was just a box that didn't look like anything else at the outlet at the time, so I was like, Oh, that's gotta be something else. And it had a lid, so I was like, retro maybe? I was like, yo, like, no way you just brought a retro out. So I'm gonna go check them out, and lo and behold, man, a return, guys. Yes, sir. Jordan Bell Air 5s. Yes, sir. Ritos. Yes, size 12, you know what I mean? Size bigger than my head. These Jordan Bell Air 5s retail for $190. I actually hit a pair on sneakers, so after shipping and handling, like, it came out to like $210, man, so. I could see why this guy returned them, but 190 puts the 20% on top with the lid. I got these bad boys for only $148, guys. Mind you that there was a discount at the outlets for 20% off the lowest ticketed price, as well as another discount I had. They're not going for much above retail on StockX, but with that discount, these are bad boys, man. This is a no-brainer, like I had to take these bad boys. And they're all big sizes, you know. Makes sense. Size 11, retail at $200, baby. We got the Jordan 5 top threes, fire red, metallic, and you see the grapes right here on the tongue, baby. Dead stock. I mean, for under retail, you cannot go wrong with these. Like, they retail at $200, 20% off, plus the extra $40 off code discount that I got. I got these for around $130, guys. Big steal. Even if I sell these, like, I know people say they're bricks, but even list them at retail, like, people are gonna scoop them, man. People don't understand this. If you buy something on StockX for retail, you're still gonna pay fees and authenticating fees, shipping fees, and whatnot on top of that, guys. So you're not really getting the shoe at retail. You're paying an extra premium, and you have to wait for StockX's shipping right now, guys which is like an extra like month time. So are you gonna really pay that much and wait a whole month to get it? Come on, if you're selling them at retail, even local or whatnot, people would be happy to scoop if they really genuinely like the shoe 
And trust me, from a lot of the interest I've gotten already from listing these, a lot of the offers and whatnot, like people like this shoe, man. It's a Jordan, it's a classic silhouette, you know? Can't go wrong, we aren't picks. These are gems right here, man. Under retail of steel. Got two lucky with these bad boys right here. Yes, sir, man. Jordan 4 Black Laser Gums, man. Size 12 and a half, these for the big boys. But, you know, they do have the lid. Thankfully, if I want to sell on StockX, it is a little fucked, you know what I mean? This thing probably got crushed by the inventory or something, but it's still sellable. It's just dented, not ripped. Um, dead stock condition, you see the little shoe trees inside. Man, these are beautiful, beautiful shoe. Jordan 4s, I believe they were released in 2019. Actually, a size 12 and a half is the value. It's actually very high. It just sold on StockX for $250, man. The lowest ticketed price on these, it's 140 guys. Quick math, okay, 140 plus 20% plus the discount code. I got these shoes for around $90, man. It's crazy out here. $90 for a Jordan 4 Retro, you know what I mean? Big size, but like I said, like anybody who's a size 12 and a half, like this is, this is a fire, fire, fire personal. Oh, and on top of these Retro, I did get this. Let me show what else I pulled up. Um, most people don't know about these. Nike Zoom X Vaporflies, a lot of Japanese and Australian runners have been buying these out. I've checked the market on eBay and whatnot, and they go for around $349 brand new. Retail is at $250, and they dropped it down to $200 for these shoes, man. Brand new. They have high retail because they're super like, high tech. You know, like they're actually made for running. They're not even comfy, apparently, to wear you know, casually because they're strictly for running. Had to pull up in these, you know, can't go wrong. $200. Plus 20% off, plus the code. I got these for around 120. I'm gonna flip them for 300 plus. Also, they bought it in a pair of size 11 Jordan bread Concords. The low ticketed price was around like 180, so they dropped them down after discounts to 130, and I flipped them ASAP right outside the store. Some dude was actually like, yo, those are my size, like I'll pay you for them. Like he couldn't believe they were even at the outlet. He's like, yo, I'll pay you right now. So I quick flipped them right out the store, you know? Super lucky day. And it just goes to show that they do have retros in the back. They do have returns. The Jordan 12s just dropped last week. The Denim 3s just dropped last week. If those end up breaking, and if payout is really low on StockX, like, you might be lucky pulling up to your Nike outlet and finding a return or something for discounted. So that's exactly what happened to me. So don't be afraid to ask, you know, just be like, are there any returns or exchanges in the back? You know, any fire retros? Like I've never seen so many retros being brought out at the outlet from the back. Like it was just lucky timing for me. With all that being said, this is RX with prescription kicks. Give you know, a quick little update, you know, check your local outlets. Don't sleep on your local stores and whatnot. Go ahead and get those entries in guys. Subscribe to the channel, like and all that. Peace.